You're going crazy. Come on, Ev. Let me go fishing. Come on. In. Let's go. Let's go. Friends, buddies, pals, how you doing? Welcome back to another video. Here's the situation, team. Pretty early. Well, it's not that early, it's about 7.30, but as far as it getting light, it's pretty early. So, I've got about half a day up my sleeve to catch some fish, make a video for you. So here's my plan. I'm on my way down to the Tongarero. As I was driving past this river on my way down, I thought I'd just drop in here, see if there's anyone here. There isn't, so I thought I'd try and pick up a couple of fish from here, get on the board, and then I'm gonna carry on down Try and catch a couple of fish throughout the morning, get to about lunchtime, then we'll have to pull the pin, head back. Got stuff getting in the way of fishing. Anyway, I need to make a video for next week, this week, today. So that's what I've got to do. As you can see, I don't know if you can see yet, it's pretty, it's pretty low, it's pretty clear. We've got a lot of rain forecast over the next two days, which will be really good for all the rivers in the area. Should bring them up, should bring some fresh fish in. Looking forward to next week. Hopefully I can get out. In the meantime, I thought I'd drop in here, try and pick up a couple of fish. Then we'll jump back in the truck, carry on south, go to the bigger river, try and pick up something there, maybe swing something. I don't know, I don't know. We'll just make it up, we'll see what happens. But anyway, enough of this jibber jabber. Let's jump in there, try catch a fish. Okay, just before I get going, I'll just give you a quick run through of what I'm using. Pretty standard right now for winter. This is pretty much my go-to nymphing setup for any of the rivers around here. So I've got the Helios 3 5 weight D. That's for distance. I've got the Mirage LT reel loaded up with a scientific anglers, infinity smooth, but in a six weight. Just because of the power this rod has, I find if I overload it by a line weight, so five weight rod, six weight line, it really helps me throw just these, uh, get off, get off. It really helps me just throw the, the long leaders, the indicators, the heavy flyers, the split shot, those, just those bigger rigs. Just helps me throw those around a lot, lot easier. Easier to load the rod, Gives you a bit more power to just chuck stuff around and it's really effective. I've built my own straight through leader straight from the tip of the fly line. If you don't know how I do that, I'll leave a link up here. You can go check it out. I'll explain that in detail or take you through how I make that from scratch, the exact leader I'm using now. So I've got about a foot of 1X down to about, I think I'm down to like about a rod length of 3X, then maybe three feet of 4X down to a, a 101. That's a bit short maybe about 12 inches of 4x to a caddis fly by the looks of it and there's a couple of dirty split shot from the last time i was fishing the tongarero i believe actually running my fingers up at that that's a bit rough and a bit crap so i'm going to um change that 4x just replace it um and then i'll go to a 101 i'll lengthen that out i'll just show you so i'm going to replace this 4x just because it's a bit pants just a bit bashed up from obviously the last day i was out with matt it was actually a really good day, a really, really cool day, actually. We had a good time, caught some fish, had some laughs, it was good. I'll look that up here and you can go check that out if you haven't watched it already. It was a good time and a real good example of what winter fishing can uh, can be like around here. Uh, okay, so I've got about arm's length of 4X here. And then I'm going to blood knot that. One thing I will say with, uh, with knots is practice your knots at home so that you're not trying to remember how to do it on the river. It's actually really warm this morning. I've been guiding this week and it's been uh, first day uh, weather-wise was freezing, like minus three, so literally freezing. Ice on the rod guides and all that kind of good stuff. And then yesterday was pretty warm, but windy, and it feels like today is gonna be much the same, I think. Tag ends in the hip pack. So there's a 101. 4X off of there, and we'll go to probably, yeah, we'll go to a natural, I think. Start with a natural. Go to an egg if I have to. So this is all the Scientific Angler's uh, Supreme Fluorocarbon, which is, yeah, it's, it's a bit pricey, but boy, it's so good, it's so worth it. Uh, I can't really recommend it enough. All right, all right, all right. I was just gonna go, I think I'm just gonna go a flashback pheasant tail. Just a good old faithful double Davy knot. 
And as always, boom, done. Crush them barbs. So, I've just replaced that 4X section, just that last arm's length of tippet. Got the 101, got the flashback pheasant tail. A tiny bit of split shot, a tiny, a medium sized bit of split shot. So I'm gonna put that split shot about two inches above the uh, dropper. If I had an egg on here, because of the floatiness of the egg, I'd probably put the split shot about halfway between the dropper and the egg, just to get the egg right down. But um, seeing as that natural fly will, is a bit more sinky, I tend to put the split shot there. You don't have to, it's just what I do. All right, uh, indicator looks good. I'll put a bit of lube on that. A bit of floaty, 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 McFloaty. We're gonna go fish that. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm quite excited about this. I haven't really done a lot of fishing recently, so I'm quite looking forward to just uh, hopefully catching a couple of fish. This is just super low. Hopefully we get that rain over the weekend and it will really pick things up, move things through, hopefully bring some fish into the system, hopefully really pick things up. All right, anywhere through here. Come on, first drift. First drift of the day. Anticipation is high. Hi. Anywhere through here. There. Oh, I'm pretty sure that was a fish. I was a little late on the strike, to be honest. It was a real subtle kind of just bloop, little bob of the indicator, and I kind of hesitated slightly, saw it bob again, and then I then I struck. I think it was probably a bit late. Come on now. Come on now. That, that's where I want to be. Right over there. That's nice. Isn't that nice? Anywhere there. Yep. That's satisfying. Just knew where I needed to be and paid off. Hey, 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 hey. Strong fish. Strong, 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 strong. This is where I've got to take the time to retie that four, actually. Using those angles to keep that fish off balance. Try and get his head up. Might be a her actually. Oh yeah, what a fatty. Beauty fish. Little wrap. Oh, we got a nice. Nice. So yeah, just needed to get that drift line just another like three feet over the back there, just to be in the zone. And uh, first time I did that, fish. Just a perfect example of, um, of a fresh, healthy fish in here to do what she needs to do. Tiny pinhead, big shoulders, fat belly, got some eggs in her. Awesome. Uh, on the board, let's try get one or two more of those, and then we'll shift the out of here. Right?
classic Alex move. Uh, I mean, that happens when you're handling fish, especially if you're trying to get a picture or, or some video or whatever. Or sometimes when you're just, you know, moving fish around, sometimes they'll struggle, you'll lose control of them and, and you'll drop them. It's the very reason I'm really big on whenever you're holding a fish or you're handling a fish, you stay low to the water and you're over the water, like you're not on dry land, you're not over rocks, you're not over dirt, whatever, sand, just you're in the water and you're low to the water. So even though I lost control of that fish, he dropped about that far into the water and just swam away. So no harm done. If, just think about those little things when you are handling fish. Just never stand up and hold a fish and never stand up and hold a fish out of the water. You shouldn't be out of the water anyway when you're handling a fish. Keep yourself low, keep the fish low. So if you do lose control of it, no harm done. Right, I'm gonna untangle this, put my pack on and fish my way out of here. So I've gone to a, just a natural colored egg now, just an orange, straight up orange. So we didn't want to know there we go. I didn't want to know about the naturals. And I didn't want to know about the dead egg. The first drift on that and he ate it. Right there. Oh, I think that might have been a fish. I believe it was a fish. Yep. Got him. Woo! Dude, 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 dude. Oh, phew. just a rocket. <laughs> wow, that is a stroppy fish. Ooh. Ah, awesome. Awesome. And a cool fish. Cool, eh? What a wicked fish. Okay, cool. So I'm going to uh, get out of here. I'm going to head south, go fish the Tong. Well, I'm going to go look in the Tonga River, hopefully find a couple of fish in there, and top off what was a good start. Yeah, I got three, three or four fish out of there, and lost or stroke missed the same again. So that was pretty good, pretty good start. And I was there maybe an hour and a bit. I don't know. I don't even know what time it is. Yeah, well, I got that last fish. There was, there was like a little pod of fish. I could have probably sat on that and pulled another fish or two, but um, meh, I'm good. I don't need to. Did what I came here to do, and I'll leave them to it. Drink, Rogan, drive. Changed over to a little hair and copper. I've got a 101, I've got a medium sized piece of split shot on there. And uh, like I said, I've just, changed, I've just changed over to a hair and copper. Holy fish! Oh, come on! Yep, that had to be, didn't it? Oh, it's a nice fish off onto the other side of the river, which is not ideal. I never like that, but that's cool. Like two, two, two drifts after I lost that last fish or just touched that last fish. Wasn't on really for long enough to lose it. Take that hair and copper. A bit of a wrap under the belly. Oh, sweet, what a cool fish. Well, that was great that was well worth doing um yeah like a couple of casts after i kind of bumped that first fish just got a little bit further out there in the middle and uh yeah 
She ate that. She ate that little hair and copper there from uh, Cat 3. Good fly. Good fly. So sporting. That's a bit short. It's now got a knot in it, so I'm going to lengthen it out a little bit. And uh, I might give that a few more casts actually before I go. Just walking up to the next spot, grab my swinging rod because I think I'm going to try and swing this bit of water here. I haven't fished it yet this, this, this year actually. While I was thinking about it, I just thought I'd grab the GoPro out. And um, so obviously, <clears throat> if you're in New Zealand, especially the North Island, You'll know where I am, I'm on the Tongariro River. I just wanted to say, you may or you may not have heard that. Uh, I think it was last week, somebody's dog died after eating, I think it was a possum carcass uh, that had uh, been poisoned with 1080. Now, if you don't know what 1080 is, it's a nasty, nasty poison that they drop around here, actually all over the country actually, to kill off pests. Whether you agree with it or not, they do it. Anyway, I think this dog had either eaten a possum carcass that had died from 1080 or it picks him up somewhere. Anyway, I'm not going to get into the politics of that. But the point being is if you have dogs, probably don't walk them around the Tongarero, the Waimarino, the Waiataka, basically any of this, uh, any of these rivers around the Turangi area. Probably just don't bring your dogs out. Don't walk them out here. Just for now. I don't really know too much about it, but I just thought I'd throw it out there in case you hadn't heard about it. You're coming down over the school holidays or the weekend to fish. Just don't bring your dog. Leave him home. It's, uh, it's super sad. Super sad. Nothing should die like that. Just thought I'd throw that out there. I'm almost at the river now. Get the old double hander going and see if I can pick up a fish on the swing. Swing a ding ding. didn't go so well did it, the old swing so I swung that straight I came up here I swung the tail of this pool here and nothing not a touch nothing kind of fished okay for the first half of that uh, session and then not so well towards the end casting kind of went a bit and um, didn't really feel like I was fishing very well or effectively but uh, it's all good I'm, I'm gonna head back to the truck but on my way back I'll just drop in the head of that um, piece of water I started in and I'll just nymph that real quick and see if I can pick up just a consolidation fish and uh, wrap the day up like that so I've just taken off my split shot gone a little bit shallower actually quite a bit shallower I'm just gonna fish like just the uh, just this kind of section in front of me because so I haven't fished this piece of water this year didn't get here all summer and uh, first time this winter fish first time this winter I've been here and that's a good start oh fish is upset <laughs> oh you're yeah, all wrapped up aren't you that flapping around nice one Pretty cool that was worth just stopping in there and doing that to pick up that cool fish just before i left i'm uh, pretty stoked about that it was a nice little uh, cap off to the morning all right uh, i'm gonna get out of here i'm just gonna get changed real quick jump in the truck and i've got to get back sorry about the lack of b-roll i was pretty slack on it this week i'll do much better next time yeah some cool fish around we've got rain coming over the weekend so that should really drive some more fish into the system Hopefully next week I can get out and uh, we can have a look around and see what it's done. As always, thanks heaps for dropping in. Give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. And if you haven't subscribed, please do me a favor, hit the button, join the team, help me grow the channel. I would really appreciate it. Have a great week, everybody. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.